I want my daughter to have the best life, and whatever I can do to fulfill that, I'm going to do it. Little Adeline Rose, born in the ER as her mother was dying. That pregnant mother was hit and killed by a suspected drunk driver, and now that little girl is close to going home. Her father calls her a fighter as he deals with the loss of his wife and learning how to change diapers. NBC4's Vicki Vargas spoke with him in a story you'll see here for the first time and only on NBC4. Come on, you can do it. You're almost there. Adeline Rose should not be here yet. She was supposed to enter the world September 20th, but was born in an emergency C-section six weeks early. She is now five pounds, two ounces, and her father says she is healthy enough to go home. As soon as I held her, everything just washed away. It was just, just her and I in that moment. His wife, Yesenia Aguilar, was killed by an alleged drunk driver August 11th. She and her husband have been walking hand in hand near their home. Alvarez says the bond he had with his pregnant wife is now evident with his daughter. Seeing her there and calling for her name and her like opening her eyes looking for me, like that meant so much to me because that's what we did together as my wife and I. In the feet in a bit, okay. Alvarez says two days after Adeline Rose was born, she began breathing on her own. You're always there. She is now taking a bottle. She gets baths from her father and is about to go home with him. I'm up for the challenge. You know, I know I don't have my, my wife with me to help me, but I know she's here spiritually, and, you know, she's giving me the strength to, to do that. James Alvarez says he is prepared to be a single father, and he says he is gathering strength from people who look at his daughter the same way he does. People want hope. They want that, the ray of sunlight in these dark times. The homecoming is set for Monday. Alvarez says he can't wait to bond with his newborn at home when he can take off his mask and she can see his entire smiling face. Mm -hmm. At UCI Medical Center, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.